What's up, Internet? My name's Nerdy, and this is episodes 47 and 48 of Who One Piece, a television show that I love deeply and unabidingly. This reaction follows the adventures of Lil Buggy as he hangs out with Mommy, maybe? Or they'll come back in like 50 episodes, I don't know. Uh, Luffy and the team, the Straw Hats, were headed to Logue Town, where Goldie Roger was birthed and where he was hung. Or... Actually, I don't know if he was hung, where he died. I don't know how he died. Interesting. Uh, if you want the flying through action, go to patreon.com slash nerdy nightly. But if you don't, stay here, because you're already here. And this reaction is about to begin. One piece! Whee! Whee! Are we are on the cruise? We are. I really thought the cannon was gonna blow out a tooth like one of those carnival games, but instead it fucking murders that crab. <laughs> What's up, mommy? She does have a waist like Barbie. Like it is like I don't know where her organs go, but. I do love that we get two episodes that are really just about the trauma Buggy experienced in this episode. Oh, they, I wonder if they stuck together. They must have. His crew has his body. That makes sense. Wow, they really love Buggy. He's inspired some genuine emotion from his crew. That's not what I expected, but I like to see it. That girl thief. Oh, fun. I've never gotten sick. I don't trust someone who says that. Someone's always talking. Usopp, careful. Buggy <laughs> sit burying his body parts. This is so dark. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> if if one of them becomes captain, do they change the logo? Like, do they all have to wear goofy ears, or do they all have to like, do they become the scarf pirates for Kabaji? All right, that was that was quick. I like that we're going full WWE style here. Drop him from the top rope, Kabaji. I want to meet the like wrestling pirates that is just Oda's interpretation of WWE people. I think that would be, he would make that very funny. Candid <laughs> <Candid> camera. <laughs> I love, these jokes are for adults. Like candid camera is not something a child would understand. <laughs> oh, that was slick. That's a nice little bit of animation right there. It's a tie. Yeah. Oh yeah, this is the WWE shit I wanted. Let's go. All right, well, I'll be back uh, tomorrow with more reactions. Uh, <laughs> we'll finish the fight. Honestly, the stamina is impressive. And co-knockouts.
what an odd position for him to be sleeping in. I kind of want the lion to lead them. I, I want them to be pirates led by- yeah, there it is. <laughs> Let's go, Richie. That'd be kind of a fun cosplay to do. I love this because nobody saw it because everybody's asleep. <laughs> oh, okay. All right, who the fuck is this guy? Oh, shit. Y'all, you gotta have sentries, man. You can't just leave your camp unguarded like this. <laughs> Buggy, I know you want your body back, but is this really the crew you want to try and <laughs> fight Luffy with? Why? Oh, they found it. All right. I'm just impressed they have such a good photo of him, to be honest. Oh, it's an old Wano poster. Okay, it's probably on a ship. That makes sense. Oh, that's kind of cute. Yeah, because you both have brain damage from punching each other in the head for like seven straight hours. Of course you don't remember anything. Is the food they eat people? <laughs> ah, yeah. And lion, apparently. I mean, like... The meat might cook well, but like those clothes are not gonna taste well. You know what I mean? They got a lot of weird clothing on that's gonna ruin your soup. I'm not saying that they should be naked, but I get it, it's a kid's show. I also don't want to eat people. I want to make that clear. They untied it. You fucked up. Yeah, you untied it, you fucked up. Because now he can control it. Wait, that has a torso as well? What torso is Buggy working with right now? <laughs> oh, shit. I hope they have enough aloe vera for all those burns. But, uh, how did he get tied up? I think one of my favorite parts about Buggy's power is that his clothing is also part of it. Like the clothing stitches back together as magically as his body does, which I find very funny. <laughs> Let's go, we got Captain Buggy back. Apparently live action Buggy is hot and I'm very curious how that works, but we'll get there when the strike ends. Fuck you, AMPTP. Oh, I don't know how you not hit your own people with that, but yeah, go crazy. I want to ride a lion so fucking bad. That seems so cool. <laughs> Buggy's cool as shit. I, I don't know, man. I could, you know, do without the flash release, but <laughs> I'll get used to it. <laughs> I feel like you could make a really cool buggy game because you could have so many different chop chop abilities because I know there's like a there's one piece odyssey right which is um way too late I don't want to get spoiled and so I'll play it when I get there but I, and I know I think he plays Luffy in that but I think buggy would make for a really fun video game character
Congrats, Buggy. She's so unimpressed. <laughs> Incidentally. <laughs> Come on, really? Am I just calling her mommy forever because you won't tell me her name, Oda-san? Zoro? Still sleeping. I fucking wish. I wish I could sleep like this man. I feel like I wouldn't be tired all the time. And that would be a gift. A gift greater than gold. I do like that <laughs> they're like a D&D party that's like, oh, shopping episode? Guys, it's time for a shopping episode, let's go! <laughs> This score is great. This whole musical moment, pretty solid. I kind of feel like last episode and this episode I should have watched together. Um, you know, they feel like they go together, but whatever. It is what it is. I'm very excited for the next one. Uh, the city of the beginning and the end is a very cool name. Logue Town Arc, here we come. I am very excited to learn about Goldie Roger. Um, I have so many questions about him and about the One Piece. Like, how long ago did he die is a question that I don't know the answer to. Because I'm assuming it was like a hundred years ago, right? I don't know. Uh, if you, uh, let's just watch the next one. I, I, I liked it a lot. That was fun. I think Buggy's a really funny character who's also like a great design, a good foil for Luffy, right? He's the only real devil fruit user that we have other than Luffy right now. Um, and so it's kind of fun to put them at odds with one another. I think the mystery surrounding Mommy is really cool. I think she's an intriguing character. Um, and I, as much as I joke about I want to know her name, it is fun to, like, keep that a secret. And I think the way the show's handled that is interesting. I, I'm just having fun with it. I'm, I'm, the, these past, like, three episodes have been a cute little transition away from such an, in, like, there, there was so much weight in Arlong Park, and I think that, like, taking a second to allow the show to breathe, have this cute side adventure with Buggy, build up the, the, um, build up this arch nemesis for Luffy, who Luffy doesn't even view as his arch nemesis, like, he, I don't, I think he's gonna run into Buggy and be like, hey, do I know you? <laughs> and Buggy's gonna be like, you are the most important person in my life. Um, but doing that while also setting up the bounty and that, you know, establishing that Arlong Park cemented Luffy's place in the world while also allowing these three episodes to kind of just let the audience breathe a little bit after the weight of Arlong Park while also pointing to what is interesting about the next arc. I think it's been handled really well. It was a nice little transition and a moose bouche if you will, of uh, anime. And I'm excited to get into the next thing because there have been some really good mysteries seated, right? We've, we've gotten the beginnings of a couple of things that um, are either going to be impediments to our heroes or are going to uh, help our heroes further their goals. And our the audience's understanding of what is being set up and how it relates to our heroes is done really well here. So I, I think these three episodes have actually, like, uh, unlike what I thought of the, um, the last time we went to that island with the weird animals, where I was like, oh, that was kind of a weird, random episode of... That it was just, it was there, right? I think it was episode 18. This doesn't feel like it was just there. These three episodes really have a purpose in terms of pivoting the show. And I think that they were used really well to do that. And so I'm, let's just start Logetown. I, I want to get into it. I'm really excited to see where this goes. As we, I think this will be the last arc of the East Blue. But I don't know. I have no fucking clue. Let's watch it. All right. I'm ready to dance it out for the second time this video. Are we ready, chat? No! No! What the fuck is this? It's pretty good. But it's not... <laughs> I'm upset. I'm not okay. I was so excited <laughs> to dance. 
<laughs> I'm sure someone warned me in a comment, but I did not hear or read that warning, and I am upset. That's pretty sick. Believe in Wonderland, guys. Call me Alice and believe in Wonderland. Catch the shape of a dream no one else can see. Please tell me this song at least has biorhythm in it. Please. I don't really need everything to add up. I do, okay? Have you watched our reactions? Fuck! It'll grow on me. Does it end with we are at least? No, there's not even a big one. P Fuck! Guys, I'm done. We're, no more One Piece reactions. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go watch My Hero Academia. I don't. All right, Nami. <laughs> That's very funny. Wow. Is that my wife? Was that Clarus? I don't know how I- I don't know if I like Sanji talking about women as if they're ingredients. Is this the guy that sells you the fucking mask in Majora's Mask? Is this his backstory? Y'all know exactly who I'm fucking talking about. Yeah, it's him. Oh my god. Is this Hyrule? Usopp, don't fall for it. They have fax machines? I don't know why I keep being surprised by technology here. Captain Smoker. <laughs> That's very funny. Does he have two cigars in his- oh wow. That is a man who's going to die young. He's yoked out of his mind, though. Dude, you might have a problem. I would like it if this arc was just about the dangers of addiction to smoking. <laughs> it's a cool sword, though. His design is really cool. He would be my arch nemesis, as I am allergic to cigarette smoke, so I would die very quickly. Did I say allergic? I'm allergic. Alright. It's interesting, it's the first time we see a marine not be a total piece of shit. Oh, that mustache! His ability to talk with a cigar on both sides is almost as impressive as Zoro's ability to talk with a sword in his mouth. There are marines with devil fruit powers? Oh, so he's not gonna die of smoke inhalation, right? Because he's probably protected against it. <laughs> the fact that Luffy isn't caught immediately is fucking amazing. It makes sense you wouldn't expect it, though. Like, why would you expect this little kid to be a pirate captain, right? It was a nice touch, the like, hey, don't you want to see the photo? He's like, no, nah, I'll find him. It's, it's fine. One has too much neck and one has no neck. <laughs> Let's go. Well, jinkies, Fred, I can't find my glasses. 
Zoro. That was kind of heartbreaking. <laughs> Again, does Christianity exist in this world? <laughs> well, that's creepy. Hmm. <laughs> Luffy's like, this is the best day of my life. <laughs> He's literally vibrating. <laughs> Interesting. I thought it was like a hundred years ago. He only died 22 years ago. Yeah, you did, Luffy. This scene is so cool. This is really fun. I feel like Luffy. I'm like, just giddy. <laughs> just a couple glasses of milk. Ooh. It's a great shot. It's mm. a pretty good <laughs> Cody Rogers cool as shit. Sangase, kono yo no subete o soko ni oite kita. Wow. Like a kid flying. Wow. What a shot. The choice to take all the color out of God. The, sometimes the animation on the show is just so clever. I love it. Uh, oh. That's a really great shot. Oh. Framing Luffy against the size of his goals like that. It, the show gets the little things right and, and, and like so right, you know? And it's simple and it's mostly white and you just, you take all of the distraction out of it and you just go kid future. You know what I mean? Main character destiny. And you frame it so simply like that. It's what this show nails. In a way that like, I have like chills. Like that shot of him looking up at that platform. Unbelievable. That was cool. That was really well animated. I'm pissed that the theme song changed, but that, that final shot, like because that's the moment, right? Right there is the the difference between the beginning of the show and the rest of the show. And I, I, I'm assuming there's a lot of moments like that, right? Like Luffy's going to keep having those. Um, but so many of these arcs have had those moments for the other characters. You know, Nami getting pushed out the door by the memory of Belmare. Um is like this moment for her, but 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 we've we, we've needed that moment for our main character, the moment where he's gathered his crew. What is the what is the like future of his life? 
Where is the foreshadowing for him, right? And and then you just frame it so beautifully like that. It's unbelievable. That was fucking. That was so cool. <laughs> ah, this show just does thing some things so 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 well that I completely forgive the things that I don't think it does well, right? Like, because I, I could sit here and complain about Sanji forever, but it doesn't matter because at the end of the day, th that is a little bit of weirdness in a show that nails everything else. Smoker, really cool character. Definitely my favorite Marine so far. Um, he he has a real sense of, like, honor in a weird way. Because in his mind, he's like, yeah, pirates should still be doing that. They're just cowards. I'm not going to let them do it for free, but they should be trying. I, I find that really fascinating. And, and the bartender's perspective of, like, well, no, you're shutting me down. It's, it's because you're good at your job that I'm having this problem. And he's like, no, it's not because I'm good at it. It's because they, it's because people aren't trying me. I want them to try me. I, I think that he's bored, right? He wants a, a challenge. This fun. I'm excited for Logue Town. Because I think that, like, this, this show has really been about Luffy in other people's places. Other than, like, the first few episodes. In other people's places, helping them with their problems. And I think that we're going to start here to get Luffy's problems, right? Luffy's kind of... Luffy's struggles start here because he hasn't I, other than like struggles of like I'm literally stuck underwater right now he hasn't really had like a deeper struggle and I think that that starts with that shot right of him looking up at the weight of the thing it's the first time where he's had to face in the real world the thing that he keeps saying that he wants to attain and the size of it is before him for the first time in a way that is very exciting for him. I, I don't think he's scared of it. I'm mean, probably a little, right? I think there's definitely nervous nerves, there's fear, there's there's all of those emotions, and they are matched with his excitement and his hope and and the, the the future as it, you know, can be everything and anything, and also the fear of that, right? But th this this feels like this feels like it's gonna be really about Luffy, and I'm I'm down for that. I like, I also like, I like the scene with him and the bartender where I felt Luffy's excitement because I was excited for that world building too, right? Like, I want to know more about Goldie Roger. And the, the mystery of him has been set up in a way that when that guy just starts saying people he fought, I'm like, oh, cool. That, that might be a flashback we get at some point, right? The, those are things that like, the little narrative tidbits that I don't really know a lot about any of those stories, but I feel like I will get to know more about them later. There's a lot of foreshadowing in this episode that's done really well. Curious how uh, Zoro's going to handle not having money. I wonder if Nami's going to steal all those clothes. I like this. I like Logetown. This is interesting. I'm mad about the song. <laughs> I don't know why. It doesn't matter that much. I just really like dancing to that song. Um, it's on my gym playlist now. <laughs> I'm like on the elliptical. Like, da-da, da-da-da, da-da-da-da, doo-doo, doo-doo. Anyway, um, this was fun. This was fun. Uh, I hope Usopp buys some ingredients that don't kill him, uh, and I don't. I hope that he is he does not fall for that gun because there's no way that's Goldie Rogers' gun. Uh, don't overpay Usopp. Save your money for a vendor that's not trying to fleece you. Just like I'm not going to fleece you with uh, more video here. Uh, I'll be back with more reactions. I think that this is. Go I don't know when this is going up. This is going up on a Thursday, so this is a Tuesday. No, this is a Monday video. So on Thursday, I'll be back with more Logetown. Uh, probably a little bit of a first clash between Smoker and Luffy. But not the last clash. I think just, just the beginning, just an opening salvo between the two of them. Very excited for that. Uh, I hope that Luffy's friends can find him. Because Luffy is that guy that just doesn't come up with a meeting place before he wanders off in the mall. And then you're like at Chinook at 3 o'clock in the afternoon. And your mom's showing up at 3.15. And you don't know where your friend is. And you have to walk the whole mall looking for him. And you're like, God, if you had just stayed with the party... Anyway, uh, if you like the video, like and subscribe to the channel. If you don't, hit the dislike button. Leave mean comments down below because the algorithm god is hungry and we must feed her. This episode, that algorithm goddess is Nami? Mommy? Nami and Mommy. <laughs> if you want to follow me around the internet, you can. I'm at Nerdy Nightly. Uh, but until next time, y'all, do something nerdy tonight. Bye.